Brent, we've got the 56 Chevy rolled back into the garage for some more work we're going to do on this video for the folks. But uh, I want to go back and reprise just a little bit the work that's already been done. So give us the overview here of this baby. Okay, well, I'd like to say it's a 1956 Chevy, uh, base model 150. Um, when we got it, it was rolling chassis, so no motor, no transmission. We pulled the motor out of a 1986 Chevy pickup, had it rebuilt, um, well, rebuilt it. Uh, put that in with an automatic transmission. Um, did some metal work and some paint work to get it looking like this. Uh, had some seats out of an S10 that just didn't sit right, didn't fit right, so we actually made some brackets and uh, put seats out of an 85 Toyota Supra that seemed to be working out really well. Um, put the steering column in. It's, it's coming along. It's coming along very well. And one of the things that Brent always likes to point out, and I like this about the way you like working on cars, is that Brent's after that daily driver car. We're not making a show car here, so when he mentions those Toyota seats and his 56 Chevy, don't have smoke coming out of your ears. That works for the way that this car is going to get used. Now, we've got rebuilt engine and a tranny, so it goes. It goes. So it's yeah. important that we also... We can stop, yeah, that's which, a good thing. which is an issue at this point because it's got 1956 brakes. So it's, it's a single reservoir, drum brakes all the way around. So classic performance products set us up with some uh, uh, power disc brake, front disc brake conversion kit. Wonderful retrofit for this, for this particular car. So we're going to put brakes on. We've got the El Camino sitting outside yet. We're going to bring the El Camino back in, do some cosmetic work to that. We've got a bunch of stuff going on today. And again, the work we're going to do here with these power brakes, something that can be applied to a lot of these older vehicles. So you want to be sure you watch that so that you get an understanding of how you can do that to your car as well. So ready to spin a wrench? Yeah, let's get her done. Make it happen. 